What's good my people? I'm still holding it down here in Tanzania. You want to learn more? Stay tuned to this space. What's good fam? It's been a minute since I posted a video and there's a reason for that. I literally been grafting, patterning some things together so I can provide you with excellent and amazing content. Now for the time I've been away, I've created a course which has to deal with budget travel throughout Tanzania. Now for those who have been following me for some time, you know I've traveled to many different cities in Tanzania, different parts of the country, different attractions I've visited and stuff like that. So my course is really, really informative and it will give you all the information, tips and hacks that you should know when you come to Tanzania and you can travel around the country more affordably. I talk about places where you can stay, things you can do at an affordable price, how to navigate your way around getting the right taxis, different things like that, man. So it's, the course is on Udemy and a link is in, this, in the description in the bio of this video. So I'll also pin it up in the comment section as well. So you're welcome to check that out. The title of this video, I'm still holding it down in Tanzania. That's right, baby. Still holding it down out here, man. And for the time I've been here, I've learned a lot. And one of the things, or one of the words I'll say, which really stands out to me when coming to Tanzania, you gotta have patience, man, because in comparison to things in London, here in Tanzania, things, of course, are much more slower pace. Culturally, things are different people mindset are different so there's a lot of things you got to somewhat adjust to especially if you're trying to integrate in the society right now I'm in the University of Dar es Salaam man look how amazing this place is it's really beautiful yeah look how amazing and beautiful the University of Dar es Salaam is this is where I am right now I'm gonna quickly show you a little bit of it man look at the architecture of this building man if they ever told you they haven't got good structural buildings in Africa they're lying to you man so right now I'm gonna just walk up to this section here um, some students are now coming from their classes and different things like that really nice and amazing buildings here at the University of Dar es Salaam guys this is how grand it is I feel like I'm walking towards the White House or something in Washington fam you get me but it's a good vibe and this is it here so have a look give you a quick or a quick peek of it i'm going to do a proper vlog about this university sometime soon so you'll learn more about it but that's the university of dar es salaam man so anyways back to what i was saying so in regards to what i've learned being here i said one of the words which i've learned is patience man and subiri kidogo is in Kiswahili is a little patience have some patience and when you come in here that's one of the things you want to bear in mind and that's specifically for those who are planning to hold it down in Tanzania for a long period of time man and one of the first thing I'll say to you right you don't want to come here thinking I'm just gonna move here and everything's gonna be all right because I got some pounds pounds sterling or some US dollars which is higher than the Tanzanian currency man you can't do that one of the thing I always advocate of course is come and visit the place visit the place and really get a good vibe and a good feel of the place that's the first thing you have to do before you even want to look at here on a long term basis here mightn't even be the place for you you know there might be other countries in Africa it might even be the Caribbean it might be somewhere else which may be more suitable for your personality your culture, values your religious beliefs different things like that but that's why I created a course, man, because to do such things like going to a place, right, and learning about it and all of that, especially if you're on a certain budget, it costs money. And if you don't know Tanzania, you don't know where to go, you might fall victim to, you know, just going to somewhere that expensive, someone trying to overcharge you, giving you a higher price. And before you know it, the budget that you came here with, you, know, you could exhaust your funds. So with the budget travel in Tanzania, it gives you a foot in the door so you can come here and at least explore the countries for a bit learn about it go to the right places and then you can consider whether or not you want to go forward with moving to this country so anyways let's walk with me on this one so all right now i'm out here man and apart from patience and another thing which 
strikes me being here in Tanzania yes the people are friendly I'm not gonna lie to you the people are friendly I'm not saying everyone is friendly so you know I'm not gonna lie to you about that there are some people who will have some nasty behaviors but for the most part from my experience people have been welcoming willing to answer my questions and stuff like that you do get people who may try to ask for money all the time and stuff like that you do get that all of that is that comes with a package when you travel to a new place man the very fact that you could afford a plane ticket to come here in some people's mind man a plane ticket is a year salary or something like that so you know some people do try to get get over you on some extra coins and that that comes with the territory but for the most part man it's been a good vibe but with saying that <clears throat> don't come here with the expectation that you know yeah i'm gonna come and i'm coming back to africa i'm coming back home and stuff like that man there's some people who don't even know about slavery if you if you're the person that believes in that or even know about anything to do with other people from other countries and stuff some people they, they, they're ignorant of some of those things so you come in here thinking yeah i'm going to learn about those people are just going to welcome me with open arms and i could just learn everything about them it don't happen overnight man it's a process like right now i'm in the university a lot of these students some of them are studying engineering some of them are studying um linguistics different things like that but it's a process they have to go through at least the course for four years yeah three years some of the courses it depends but at the end of the day when they started a lot of the things about the course that they're studying they don't know about it you know what i mean and they gotta go through the process of learning these things before they can achieve certain goals man so just bear that in mind once you come to tanzania okay i hope you've been enjoying this video so far guys and i'm always going to be providing you with amazing and lit content out here inspire for travel channel is popping anyways right now I've, you can see i've got my king t-shirt on and i've got a few other t-shirts which i did like for example tanzania whole other different t-shirt on my website so you can see right now if you're on your mobile phone you can see examples of the t-shirt right under this video if not link in the bio to my website and support the channel by purchasing a t-shirt get your t-shirt game on point for the summer guys peace out and enjoy the video Yeah, so I, I, you know, appreciate the fact that everything is a process, man. But you will achieve it if you really keep pushing yourself. You believe you can achieve it. You really got that patience. You will achieve it. Now, the other day I was downtown. I was in downtown Dar es Salaam, and I met a lady from London, and we were just talking, you know. And she was saying to me, you know, I'm saying that everything is patience and stuff like that. But why does it seem that the diaspora have to have so much patience when they come to Tanzania? Whereas when these people move to London and stuff like that, like they don't really have to go through some of those things that we have to ex experience here in Tanzania. And it, that's in terms of really settling and integrating in the place. And what I said to her is, you got to remember, countries like England, America and stuff like that, these are considered first world countries. They have certain structures in place, certain systems in place, which makes immigrating or migrating to that place much more easier for people who are going there right there are things in place like and if you want to compare it to tanzania like there isn't no nothing really set up in place for a diaspora coming to tanzania for a long-term basis in most african countries what governments respect and which what, what they make easy for people is investors so if you are an investor then it's easy for you to come to any country in africa really once you have a certain amount of money to invest in the country and it'll, it'll be a much more easy process for you but if you're coming by yourself you're on a certain budget you're just really trying to you know get the you know get a reasonable price for a place to rent and just try trying to have a little diaspora community somewhere and you know not much money government that, that ain't gonna do nothing for them they're not even looking at that they're looking at the cash man cash is king when you come to these parts of the world so you gotta bear that in mind when you come in here i'm not saying it's impossible if you ain't got money to move here but if you don't have money then 
definitely the process will be longer there's obviously different ways and means you can stay here for a long-term basis some people go places to move as students and different things like that but for the most part man if you ain't got money do expect that the process to be much more challenging than normal so anyways I'm not gonna stay too long about on this this is not a channel where I just preach about moving to Tanzania I'm a travel vlogger man I travel to different places and show you the vibe in that place for you to visit check it out budget friendly vibe and then you decide what you want to do but anyways boom what I want to say now is in the course one in my course which I have published on Udemy one of the things I talk about is safety now any country where you go in the world don't let anyone fool you safety is number one you want to be staying in safe environment you want to be staying in a place where you feel safe man especially if you're with your family if you're going to a place for the first time you want to be in a safe environment now what you'll find in places like Tanzania yes for the most part it's safe in Kiswahili they say Tanzania ni inchi in inchi Armani Tanzania is a country of peace yeah but there are some places where you still have to be careful you know you could get your things stolen different things like that you want to be in a place where you don't have to worry about some of those things it's not crazy where anyone's gonna run up on you or blast a full five in your face or shoot you or nothing like that it's not that crazy out here the place is peaceful man but at the same time there are some things which you'd still got to be aware of in terms of maybe your things getting taken and stuff like that. So in the course, I talk about affordable places where you can stay in Tanzania, man. Affordable places. Now, apart from it being affordable, it's safe. It's a safe environment for you to stay in in Tanzania. And these are some of the things that's not discussed because for the most part, when people tell you about Tanzania, they may tell you about one or two hotels and when you look at the price you're scratching your head thinking god damn like that's that budget there is quite high for me i need something a bit more affordable for me to really travel around and i talk about affordable places in different cities now one of the areas i talk about in Dar es Salaam, for example is a place called makumbusho and i talk about affordable accommodation there now one of the thing about that area is it's in a central location very near to the bus stand where you can get local transport to take you around different places in the city of Dar es Salaam and that's really good like I've heard a lot of people coming from the United States said one of the things that put a hole in their pocket man a big dent in their pocket was transport catching Ubers all the time catching Bajajis all the time before then before you know it it really your budget start really going down because you're thinking wow transport could be expensive moving around the city so being in a location like Makumbusho near to the bus stand you get buses to all different parts of the city of Dar es Salaam so whether you want to go to Kariako you want to check out that you want to go in Bezi you want to go Milimadi city you want to go to some key and strategic location especially if you're new here I talk about those accommodation there in my course so you want to check that out safety is important and now these accommodation or safe and affordable you're talking at least 20 us dollars a night and under okay so that is definitely something that you want to check out in the course another thing i want to talk about in the course is navigating your way in different parts of the country of tanzania now everyone come to tanzania and it's always a dar es salaam thing everybody just want to do dar es salaam dar es salaam but the other cities in tanzania apart from dar es salaam there's Arusha, there's Mbeya, there's Tanga City, there's Zanzibar, right? There's Iringa, there's Lindi, there's different places where you can go. There's Kilwa, man, so many different places in Tanzania that you should know about. And me being a travel vlogger, traveling these different places, I've been to mostly all those cities and I provide you with information in all of those cities so you can learn about it here in Tanzania. And now that's one of the beauty of the course that I created for you because you can learn about these different cities in Tanzania and you learn about where you can stay when you visit those cities. Now these are some things that I'll not talk about. Some people tell you about Tanzania and it stops in Dar es Salaam. Like Dar es Salaam is the only city here. There's many other cities and you'll find when you start moving away from Dar es Salaam, things could even get more affordable. The whole vibe of the people in different cities could be different. 
Now, when compared to Dar es Salaam, Dar es Salaam is a fast-paced city, man. It's fast. People are out here for hustling. You got people coming from all different parts of the world, different parts in Tanzania. People are here for their paper, man. And what you'll find in cities like that, people ain't really got time for the sit down and chit chat. And sometimes people are not even that friendly in cities like Dar es Salaam. But you go, just to say, for example, you go to a city just outside Dar es Salaam, another town, you go to a place like Morogoro, you'll find, wow, the vibe here is diff a little different out here, man. Like people are a bit more on a vibe, you know, people are a bit more wel wel welcoming, people more willing to help me out with certain things. It's not that fast paced. And that might be a good vibe for you. You know what I mean? You may go to another city like Arusha if you're into the nightlife and you'll find like, whoa, Arusha is really popping out here. It's not that big as Dar es Salaam, but it does offer a vibrant nightlife. Yo, I I'm, I'm kind of feeling it out here. The weather is not too hot. You know, it's, it, it's mixed season here. It's a vibe. Yeah, man, Arusha could be it for you. So these are some of the things you will notice when you 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 know you jump on my course man i talk about these different cities in there guys so my course is on udemy i really break down a lot of things in there for you from currency conversion different things like that you know some people may come out here and you may find you may have problems with the atm you you may not know how to get certain money if you're trying to transfer money from let's say your u.s bank account to something here in Tanzania I talk about all the various things that you can do right to get your money safe and in your hands when you need it and you can spend it and enjoy your time another thing I talk about guys which which to me I think is very important for those who are interested in long-term stay in Tanzania I'll point you to the right directions and I show you examples of these places where you can go and find out about long-term accommodation for affordable price here in Tanzania guys my coast is popping baby is off the chain it's lit and i'm proud of it i took time off youtube and i really put my time my effort and energy in putting this course this it's a video course together for you so you won't be you won't be disappointed when you come here you'll have all the information you need if not all but most of the information you need when you come to tanzania so you will be really informed once you arrive here so yeah my course is on udemy link in the bio guys thank you so much for always supporting me thank you for those who've reached out and asked me how i'm doing and yeah i appreciate you guys so check out my course how to travel around tanzania east africa on a budget it's on udemy now link in the bio peace out